Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I want to talk about a note taking app that also combines task management within it. I've been searching for an application that's somewhat of an all-in-one application that not only can I do notes in but I can also manage my tasks and activities, look at my calendar without leaving the, the actual note taking app. And I think I've really found something that could work for me. So let's go ahead and switch over to my desktop and we will take a look at this app. But before I get into the video, go ahead and like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel and it helps this content get out to other individuals like yourself. And with that out of the way, let's get to the video. Okay, so the application that I'm going to actually get into today is called Note Plan. And I want to talk about some of the things that I really like about this application as a user of Obsidian, which is another markdown plain text editor, which has a lot of different features, but it's missing that task management within the app that I've been really looking for. So I don't have to keep switching from my calendar to my task app. And another thing missing from Obsidian is they do not have their own mobile app. So I really want to get something that combine the notes, the task management, the calendar view, and also had a really good mobile application. So when I'm on my iPhone or my iPad, I have that functionality with me. Now that is one of the potential drawbacks if you are someone looking for an application like this is that this application only works on the Apple ecosystem. So if you have a Mac, you have an iOS device, you're good to go. But if you need to switch from say a Mac to Android, then there is no Android application at the moment. So note plan says that they're the calendar driven note taking application. And we can see kind of a visual here of what the application looks, looks like on the desktop and the mobile device. And we'll go ahead and switch into the mobile device and want to show some things here that really makes this application worth looking into. Okay, so we're in note plan right now. On the left hand side, we have the explorer where we can get to our daily notes. We can get to search a couple different views. The you can create folders for your notes. There's some of these smart folders here and also you can have tags with at mentions and also hashtags here, depending on how you want to organize your, you know, your note structure here. This is pretty flexible and you can customize some of these views in the center is focused on note taking and within the note, you can you can add in tasks. You can do backlinks to other notes within your note plan folder structure here. And you can use Markdown as you're taking notes. So here I have we have this demo project. It has its own folder. It has one particular note in it and it demonstrates some of the things that you can do within note plan in, in an actual note. So I'm not going to go through everything in Markdown. I do have some other videos where, that talk about Markdown and I'll just get into the the things that I think are standout features within this application. And one of them is the the task management capabilities of the application. So I have a note here and what I want to do is go ahead and add a task. Now there's a few ways you can do this. You can do the star and then hit space and automatically a task shows up here and you can type in your task and go through these one at a time and put whatever, you know, the, the actual task is. Now, if you want to schedule one of these here, you can easily schedule these these tasks just by clicking on the arrow. You can put a date on these here. You can make it repeating if you like. So this way you can kind of give your task a due date or make it a repeating type of task similar to a calendar event. Now if I go into another note and let's go ahead and create uh, some tasks in here. You can see that once you start going through this particular structure and maybe you're you're putting tasks in certain notes, 
Maybe you have a folder that you're creating for a different project. We'll call this project one. And in that project you have, you're going to have notes where you need certain tasks done and you need documentation. So you'll have your different notes in there. You can navigate around and organize the structure however you want to here. It's pretty flexible. You can add hashtags. So note, you can also do add mentions. And these show up down here at the bottom in the tag in the tags area. And you can also have subtask as well. So parent child type relationships here. We can do say project project. And this is a project document. And we can see these will show up down here as well. So we have project, we have project documents. So you can use hashtags similar to what you can do in bear. Now, if we go all the way over to the right hand side of the, the app, we can also see the calendar and then any events you have for the day. You can scroll through and go to different months within the calendar here. And you can also scroll through the, the, um, the day view. Now, if you want to add in, a calendar event you can click in there and then you can add an actual event in the calendar or reminder so this is pretty handy without leaving the application you can do this and i think that this feature makes this a really powerful app to where you don't have to leave the app if you want to say you're doing your your project, you're putting in any notes that you need to, you're putting any tasks. And then if you have to set any calendar events, you can easily do that from this single application. Now, one other notable feature about this application is that you can use cloud kit and have all your files stored local. So let's go into, if we go into a note here, let's go into this note. We click the three dots. We can open this up in Finder. So it opens up Finder and we can see the actual file. Now, one thing that I've changed here is by default, these will create text files, but you can change that setting to use MD file extensions instead of text. So if we go into preferences, You can set up your calendar. We can set up the actual first day of the week. Here's the markdown. So you can render in markdown. We can recognize the star as the to do, and you can change that if you'd like, change some of the other settings here. In the to do, we can append. If we set in an actual uh, a schedule for a task, it'll append the date. You can append the completion date as well. We go into the editor, we can change the font, the font size. We can change the theme that's being used. And under sync is where you can change uh, which actual syncing service you want to use. Now, CloudKit works very well. And in my test, I haven't had any issues with it so far. Um, I'm probably going to see what it looks like if I copy more data over into this particular application and see the syncing and pretty much everything worked on my mobile device. So if I edited something on the mobile device, it synced over into the, the desktop and vice versa. Another benefit of cloud kit is that you also get end to end encryption. But if you want to change this to use iCloud drive or Dropbox, or you can even turn syncing off and just have everything local. If we go to files, this is where you can change the extension to this file to either text or the markdown format. And really, I think if you just leave this as the text format, you'll be good to go. But you do have the option to change these. And if you want to change the file extension, of the current notes that you have that might not be in the one that you want to change to, you can hit the rename notes and that will convert those over. And then you have the license area that shows you what kind of license you have activated. There is the, this is a paid application. You can get the personal 
or uh, annual. You can pay month to month. And I think they also have a business tier as well that you can pay for. Now, I said that they they have the files stored local. One thing that you can also do because the files are stored local is that you can easily access these files in in another application. So if I want to open this up in a, a different text editor, I can do that. And we can see the the plain text formatting and any markdown that's here. Also, what we can do is if we go back, we're in this demo, let's go into notes. Let's say we want to, if you are an Obsidian user or you, you use markdown currently, you can do a Let's just create a folder called import. And what I want to do is go down and copy a couple markdown files that I have in my Obsidian Vault. I'll go ahead and copy those in there. And then I'll go into the app. And we should see the folder that I created. And also we can see the files that are in there as well. Now it takes the name of the top line that's in the file. You can see here the name of the file that I have here is different from what's showing over in the, the application itself. So I'm not too sure why they don't just use the, the name of the file to show here. So maybe that's something the developer can look into or Maybe someone else has an explanation of why it's done this way. You can leave a comment down below the video. You can still get access. So if you want to import any of your current markdown files or plain text. So if you want to migrate your files that you might have right now in markdown or plain text, this is easily done by copying all the files from your current location into the folder hierarchy here for this application and any um, hashtags that you might have will also come over. So we can see here we have some additional hashtags that came in as I copied these over and the at mentions come over as well. Now I did mention the task management uh, portion of this being very important. So I see the we see the calendar here on the right. We see the the actual calendar events underneath there for the day. And if we want to see the to do's, we can go to this review area and we can see all of the tasks that are um, in the different files. So it doesn't matter which file these tasks are in. They will all show up here depending on how you set up the filter. So I have this one filter that I've customized here the upcoming I put a bang in front of it so that it would be the first one that gets used by default they do these alphabetically and the first one in the list is the one that it chooses so in order to get this one to be the the initial filter that you see I had to put the the bang symbol in front here and in this actual view the way I have it set up is that I'm looking for uh, tasks and also calendar events. So we can see any of the tasks and calendar events from one particular view. Now you can go in and edit these and set, set up new filters and customize those to search in a, diff in a certain location. You can look for a specific status or multiple statuses. And you can also look for a particular time frame. And then once you have that information, you can have it sorted by either future to past or past to future. And there's even a, an ability to add a keyword here that you might be looking for. So these filters will help you hone in on the tasks that you want to see with the click of a button. So if I click through on these, can see that each of them comes up with different information. You can also get to them from the side pane here as well. 
And on the mobile, mobile device, you get the same functionality. So I like this single view where I can click on this filter and see everything, all of my tasks that might be distributed across many documents or notes that I have in here. And also I can see the calendar events as well in the same view. So this keeps me in one app and keeps me from kind of switching context, slowing me down, going from one app to another. Okay, so if we look at the cost, as I mentioned, there is a personal monthly fee here. There's $6.99. You can pay for this annually for a $4.99 a month. And then there is a business class where you can pay eight thirty three. dollars And from what it shows here, the business class gets you uh, more priority support and consultation. Okay, so that was a quick look at note plan where you can mix in your, your notes, your tasks, and still get some of that plain tech markdown support and have it all bundled into one application. So I hope this walkthrough was helpful. If it was, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, have a nice day.